It is the 35th anniversary of Ghostbusters, and to celebrate, Funko is bringing you back their Ghostbusters line. Join me as today we take a look at the core Ghostbusters Funko Pops. Hey everybody, Jason here of GhostbustersNews.com and of course Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube and we are getting pumped, we're getting excited because we're about to head out to attend Ghostbusters Fan Fest this weekend in Culver City. But before we do that, we have got to take a look at these brand new Ghostbuster Funko Pops. I've been waiting months for these guys. And for those that have missed it, we did just post a, uh, a review of the brand new Funko 5-star figures that you can see on your screen right now. There's going to be a link to that review at the end of this video, so be sure you check that out as well. And after today's review, we're also going to be taking a look at more Funko items in the coming weeks, like Ghostbuster-themed Pez dispensers. These are a thing. Brand new keychains featuring the likenesses of Mr. Stay Puft and Slimer. Larger sets like the marshmallow covered Dr. Peter Venkman with the firehouse and of course the movie moments Slimer banquet room. And we're still waiting for him to arrive but we're also going to be taking a look at the 10 inch tall Funko Pop Stay Puft Marshmallow Man as well as also Funko's line of Ghostbusters mystery minis. These are all upcoming videos so be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube. Click that subscribe button. I'll wait for you to do so. Thanks. All right, on to the review right now today. So the core six figures in the uh, the Funko Pop line, here is the first one we're showing you, Dr. Peter Venkman, of course. And I cannot wait to unbox these guys here in a few moments so I can do a quick comparison between this Peter Venkman and the original Peter Venkman to show you the overall quality difference between the two. Turning Peter around, here is a quick look at the back of the packaging. And you can see the six characters in the core line, Dr. Egon Spangler, Dr. Peter Venkman, Dr. Ray Stance, Winston Zedmore, Slimer, and the scary library ghost. So after Peter Venkman, here is the brains of the Ghostbuster, Dr. Egon Spangler. Following old Spangs here, we have got the heart of the Ghostbusters, Dr. Ray Stance. And of course, the everyman, Winston Zedmore himself. Once again, Funko loves Ghostbuster 1 Winston because he is rocking that Ghostbusters 1 mustache. We've also got Slimer eating uh, just a mouthful of hot dogs there. So cute. And last but not least, we have got the scary library ghost. Not Eleanor Twitty, not the gray lady. This is the scary library ghost. Ooh. Ooh. All right, so hardcore Funko collectors, get ready to scream because once again, I uh, I love letting my figures breathe. So uh, I'm gonna pop the box open here and first and foremost, take out Dr. Peter Venkman. And there he is looking like a cute and cuddly and simplified version of Bill Murray. And I think since this is the very first Funko Pop we're taking a look at, let's do a quick comparison between the new Peter here on the left and the old Peter Venkman here on the right. It is like night and day difference. I love that over the years, Funko has decided to start giving their pops eyebrows. It adds so much more to the character. From the detail that is on the suit, the accuracy of the proton wand, the amount of extra detail added to his hair, especially when you turn old Venkman around here, and in turning him around, check out the differences in the proton packs. The new version looks so much more like what we saw in the film. If you own the original line, you owe it to yourself to go out and, and upgrade your set. All right, so a quick once over regarding this figure. As I've already mentioned, I love the hair detail here. And that suit looks fantastic. Of course, he's wearing the tan khaki uniform. It's got the unique Venkman name tag right there on the chest. Proton wand in hand with a military belt housing both a radio as well as also the belt gizmo. And being Dr. Peter Venkman, of course, he's also got his uh, pants untucked from the boots. And let's turn him around one more time just to take a moment and take that proton pack all in. And considering the majority of Funko Pop collectors never take these guys out of the package, it's a shame that many will never see this in person. And that's why I'm doing it for you guys. Uh, for you mint on card collectors, I'm cracking all these open so, so you don't have to and I'm biting the bullet here. So coming up next, let's take a look at Dr. Egon Spangler. 
And I'll once again say I love the fact that they put eyebrows on these Funko Pops, giving Spangler those brows that kind of show a little bit of almost like anger slash determination really brings out the character, really shows off Harold Ramis. And speaking of Harold Ramis, speaking of Egon Spangler, the hair up top, that hair is perfect. Now taking a look at Spangler's body here, uh, while he is holding the Proton Wand, much like Dr. Peter Venkman, his mold is 100% unique. But there are certainly some similarities, uh, much like uh, Dr. Venkman, his military belt has the exact same accessories on it, both a radio as well as also the belt gizmo. And turning him around to the back here, his proton pack is identical to what we saw already with Peter Venkman. Coming up next, we have got Dr. Ray Stance. And I see here, oh man, he looks awesome. He comes with the Ecto goggles. Okay guys, so a bit of a problem here. Um, Ray, initially he, he comes with goggles and, and the goggles, you know, actually have the two like lenses on top. My Funko Pop is missing a lens. It's nowhere to be seen uh, inside the packaging or anything like that. So I'm gonna have to go and get a replacement on this guy. I'm, uh, I'm pretty bummed about that, to be honest. Um, but let's continue the review. Uh, let's do a quick once over regarding old Ray here. From what I can see, the Ecto goggles do look fantastic. Once again, if I did have that, uh, that left lens there, would make it so much better. Pretty much like what we saw already with the other two guys. Uh, he does have his stance name tag on the chest. But his big changeup is he is holding a ghost trap in his hand. And being such a small accessory, I love the detail on the trap here. And with regards to the military belt, the accessories we've already seen with the previous two guys is the same here, radio, belt, gizmo. And turning him around to the back, he is the only Ghostbuster to have his wand holstered to the Proton Pact. Because as we saw with Peter, Egon, and soon with Winston, all those characters have their wands in their hands. I gotta say, Ray here is probably one of my uh, my favorites out of the three I've taken a look at so far. Uh, I'm just keep getting drawn back to that missing that, that missing piece there. Really need to uh, to get a new one soon because that's gonna bother me. Last but not least, when it comes to the main four Ghostbusters, we have got Winston Zedmore, and once again with those eyebrows, looking fierce. Love the line in the brow. As mentioned previously, he has the mustache. Especially love the detail in the hair also with this one. And much like the other three guys, he's rocking that khaki flight suit. He's got the custom name tag. Uh, the, uh, the actual web belt, the military belt is the same. And turning him around to the back, once again, we have got another beautiful proton pack. Now that we unbox the main four guys, let's get them all together and just take a look at the Funko Pop Ghostbusters. Once again, these brand new 35th anniversary 2019 releases, they are such an improvement over what we saw with Funko's original Ghostbusters line. So being the Ghostbusters, of course, they need some ghosts to bust, and that brings me to Slimer. Now when it comes to Slimer, they didn't really change all that much uh, regarding the core features of the character with regards to the original version and the new version. Of course, here's a great shot of the brand new 35th anniversary Slimer just stuffing his mouth full of hot dogs. I do really love the dripping slime effect coming off of him. It looks awesome and makes for a great stand. And I am glad that that slime looks so phenomenal when it comes to the base because that does kind of make up for the lack of butt back here. Come on, what, 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 what's this? People out there, they know when it comes to Slimer figures, I want a Slimer with a big, bodacious booty. You guys got it right with your five-star figure, but this, what, what's, what's going on here, Funko? And like I said, the actual overall uh, style of figure hasn't changed too much when comparing this to the original Slimer figure. Here they are right here. Uh, once again, the new Slimer on the left, obviously, eating the hot dogs, the original Slimer on the right, just looking as happy as he can. Both of them still great figures, but I do love the newer style dripping slime effect a bit more in the 35th anniversary Slimer. All right, so coming up last, we have, uh, oh, that looks really cool. Uh, we've got the gray lady, uh, Eleanor Twitty, but now known as the scary library ghost. And she does live up to the name because when it comes to Funko Pops, that face, is scary. Love the detail, especially in the dress portion of the character. Uh, what's also really neat is as you get near the bottom of the dress and you get near the bottom of the character, she actually starts to become translucent. And speaking of translucent, when you turn her around, I think you actually see 
the best part of the figure, which is the hair. You see the front of the figure has this white paint job, but the back, once again, more of a translucent, you can kind of see through it a bit. I love the way that turned out. And much like Slimer, uh, she did need a stand as well to obviously, well, stand. And while not dripping slime or anything like that, she does come with a, a standard plastic stand. I really dig this one. Um, honestly, probably one of my favorite ones in the line out of all six of them. Really cool. So that does it guys for today's video. As mentioned at the top, uh, we have got tons more Funko Pop videos coming over the course of the next few weeks as well. Tons of videos coming out of this weekend's huge Ghostbusters Fan Fest. You're not gonna wanna miss what we have in store for you guys. So be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube. And I will see you right here next time.